Okay, I'm here with uh, Salvatore Aliotti, who's Professor of Cognitive and Social Neuroscience at uh, the Sapienza University of Rome. Um, Sal, what we're going to do is have five minutes, uh, an alarm will go off, and when, we've, when that goes off, we finish wherever we are. Um, Salvatore has just won the, uh, the Senior Investigator Award of, uh, of, of this year's uh, conference, and he's got a massive body of work behind him, so let's find out how you got into transcranial magnetic stimulation in the first place. Well, I, I started several years ago now, mainly, I was at that time mainly interested in uh, the, the motor system and the perception of action and, and TMS turns out to be a powerful tool for investigating that with very simple measurements like the amplitude of a uh, motor evolved potential. So I started from from, uh, from there and so we, we for example found the several circumstances in which you observe actions of others and the, your motor system react. But also we tested with using some illusions that, for example, if you don't feel that the hand moving is your hand, then there is like a suppression. So with this simple um, proxy to the functionality of the motor system, it's also able to tell uh, uh, things about the self. Okay. So you're using uh, physiological measures, uh, uh, quite simple physiological measures, to probe really quite complex psychological processes. And uh, could you tell us a little bit about two domains? One is the, the, the social, uh, and, and the other is, is maybe some work that you've been doing recently on, on experts. Okay, so I'll start with the first one, like the, the social part. Using TMS, for example, we found that we found a marker of the empathic reactivity to the pain of others. You see other individual pain, and your motor system get frozen as though you were actually perceiving the pain of another individual. And this is something which is very automatic, say, basic, a low level, but the, the well, the interesting thing is that we found that although automatic, this is modulated by top-down factors, for example. If you see the pain of you're a, a white individual and you see the pain of a, of a black one or the other way around, your motor system do not react, does not react okay. as though. So, that, so that, that, that could be taken as quite explosive. Does it have any real consequences? Is it a predictor of anything, like the implicit attitudes? Type? Yeah, exactly that. So the, the, this effect goes with the implicit the association test. So the more you have this implicit bias, and none of the subjects we tested had an explicit bias. Like they, they all say, I'm not against white or against black, but they all have this implicit bias. And then the, the higher the implicit bias, the higher the effect of the, the freezing your motor system. So even if it's a very simple physiological measure, it goes with uh, this kind of, say, higher order complex percepts as stopped by the implicit association yeah. test. Yeah. When you say bias, it might, be, it might be recognition, it's not necessarily any behavioural bias. Well, it's actually, it's based on this family of tests called implicit association yeah. Yeah. that applies to a number of domains, and it's, it's um, indexed by the um, the time that it gets you to associate, for example, to an out group a positive quality, yeah. like beautiful and to a black or beautiful to a white, if yeah. you're a white, you're like, likely to be faster than that. So this is a kind of, of behavior which is not explicit. And uh, yeah, the, the one important challenge is to see uh, when you find a explicit bias, and it's not the case of the, of the, the race, yeah. racial bias, whether the, this goes with the, with the um, uh, physiological measure. For example, now we are testing, use this kind of design, the bias against fat people. Yeah. And uh, in this, with fat people, you may have an over bias because of this, this societal influences. It's and not like okay. political incorrect, like, yeah. same, like saying I'm against black people. Yeah. Or so are, are, you, are there any practical applications? Are, do, you, do you work in any kind of practical domains with this? Yeah, um, the, the possible development is that you try, uh, you try and see if there is any um, relationship, which we don't have this data yet, with, the, for example, the pro-social behavior, yeah. whether this may end up that when you have this kind of bias. And uh, 
because this would have important consequences. We just have a paper um, coming out on, for example, the fact that if you... Wow, five minutes. We don't know what your paper is going to be about and that's why I'm not going to cite it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>